So we're going into round number two. Half our players. Half of them. Half of the players Come showing three points. What's up. Julia at the top. Look at her. Julia right e. one right now. Love it. Love it. Devin Erke behind. Tevin. Tevin. Tim. Good old Tevin. Good old Tevin. <laughs> Lyle Dwayne. Calvin Young. A uh, new face. Uh huh. New face to. Uh, I think we're officially up to 53, 54 yeah. unique players over our Tuesday night after six weeks. John Mathias, Chris Carroza, new face for season two, doing exceptionally well. Yes, up there in the close echelons of trying to make it into the top eight, within the top 16 for sure. Yep. Patrick, David, Jamie, Harrison, and Keenan, all with three points. Mm -hmm. So. And Lucas, also new. New face for season two. It's been around, but just took a break. Like We saw him at the end of season one, played like two weeks, three weeks kind of thing. About the time that Derek came back, he played for a few weeks, and then pff, IRL caught up to him and was busy doing real life stuff. Um, but played this evening, so very cool to see. And of course, some of our other faces that we're, we're familiar with: uh, Eric, TJ, Johnny, Derek, Jeremy, Robert, Kyle, Ben, and Brad. Brad we hadn't seen for a little bit too, so that was you know exciting to see him come back. So. Not nice little mix of, of players. So why don't we go right into round two? Let's do it and see who we've got on camera this time. Let's go. Not me. And then uh, yeah, it looks Ooh. like we're gonna we're gonna see Calvin Young playing elves against Dwayne, who's playing that that fun, interactive, don't need no colors, Trondrazi um, deck. It's, it's the Trondrazi. Is it Tron? I don't know. I mean, that seems to be the the way to play it right now. Now that uh, the I was banned, a lot of people have decided to go just Trondrazi style, but it could be just plain old Eldrazi. Strong polls going up, guys. Get those votes in. Let us know. Do you like elves here? Do you like Eldrazi? Which tribal flavor is for you? Hashtag name is wrong. Hashtag name is wrong. So he's not playing the Tron Drazi version, it looks like. So let's 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 chit chat a little bit okay, about cool. the invitational. Since we're we're waiting for Calvin to appear. <laughs> um, get it, get ready, Dwayne shuffling up. Mm hmm Elves. It's a thing. It is. Um It's a thing. It's a thing. So <sighs> Liam Lonergan. Elves, I was telling you about this. Go ahead. Well, I think like elves as a deck. We we saw it on camera last week. I think for the first time for mm -hmm. Modern Magic Mondays. Um, there's a couple ways that you can play it. Um, you can can rock out the like combo elves, if you will. Mm -hmm. You can rock out like the aggro elves, or you can kind of do like a hybrid um, of kind of doing a little bit of both. Um, so what is what did the elf deck play for the invitational? Uh, let's see. It had Nettle Sentinel, Elvish Arch Druids, um, uh, Yuzuri, your Lana War Elves. Um, it it really was a mixture of combo and aggro. Okay. It could it could turn. I can say it in the best way possible that it could turn. Just like Affinity could turn, I feel like, mm, okay. like it could it could transform. It could be an aggro deck if it wanted, and then immediately flip very quickly, mind you, very quickly to the combo style. Mm. Especially with, I believe Liam was running a, a one of uh, Nykthos. Okay. Um, you know, with uh, Yuzuri's and yeah, Diwin's Elite. Cool, okay. Or Blinden's Elite. Mm. Uh, these were all cards that Liam was running, and he rode that deck to the three. 11 and 0 was the end. Like result. It's, it, yeah, that's insane. Um, it's a really solid tribal deck that is kind of a sleeper deck from time to time. Um, but it, it makes sense why it would do well currently in the meta. Um, because of how quickly you can play a bunch of creatures. I mean, it's you, you think about it, it's got the same kind of mindset in the way that 
um, an affinity player does that like I need to get out a bunch of stuff from my hand as quickly as possible mm -hmm. then you have ways to do that because some of them tap for mana uh, some of them of course pump each other up you've got Coco in there um, yeah it, it can run collective company without splashing too Coco for days um, lead to stampede is, is also a card that sometimes gets run in elves decks um, so lots of diff different potentials to find uh, the stuff that you need there. Um, Calvin does not like a seven. Goes he immediately. Does six. not. And that's the thing you got to get used to. If you pick up new decks, get used to that whole mulliganing and stuff like that. Yeah, it's okay. taken me a long time to really lock down, in fact, well enough to be like, all right, I know for sure that I can afford to ship this hand or keep this hand based on the maps that I'm playing. Mm -hmm. Where if I picked up the elf deck, I would probably shrug and go. Meh. Let's try <laughs> yeah. it. Well, that's usually my normal Tuesday night mindset anyway. Wow. Meh. Let's just... I'm here to play Magic and have yeah. fun. I'm, a, I'm not playing for keeps today. Six cards. Let's go. Windswept Heath. There's a collected. Got a collected company. Well, it seems he's not as happy about this one either. Looking kind of stressed out. He says, I'll try it. Here's a scry. Bottom... Let's go. Did we see who won? I guess it was Dwayne. Here's an Eldrazi Temple. Ew. Oh my gosh. Oh. Yeah. Here's uh, Eldrazi Mimic. Sure. Sure. Seems fine. Yep. Everything about this. Pass back. Windswept Keith. Going to 19 and for Calvin. Basic force. Land War Elves. No. No turn one play. Huh. Waste mana coming down. Means we could see uh, Matter Reshaper. Could be. Just kidding. Really wish I had an eye. Yeah. Never mind. Two. Game for two. Drop some 17. Okay, then Spell Skite's gonna be the option. Just he says, alright, I just saw one basic forest here. I'm, you know, I'm not as sure. You could be on Elves. You could, could be, be anything. On, in fact, you could be on Bant Eldrazi at this point. Basic Forest. Who knows what you're playing. Fun fact, as uh, where it looks like Calvin may be asking a couple questions. Uh, I felt really good about my plays that last game, uh, that last round. Because uh, uh -huh. Eminem turned to me and said, if it makes you feel any better, I don't think you made any glaring misplays. Oh, nice! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, so here's another force for Calvin. And I, also, there's someone else playing Kiki Cord at the shop. Someone's trying to invade my turf. <laughs> well, but you haven't been playing Kiki Cord. You've been playing Trench. Here's oh, a no. Seer. What else you got? Jigs up. Pass. Oh, oh my. Four collected companies? Did we stack the deck? Hold it. Wait, that's a second. Nissa right there. That's what's here, I think. Yep. Aegon's breaking stuff. And Dwayne says, that's fine. Let's just go ahead and take your I mean, turn. You're already on yeah. three mana, so that was going to be your next turn play. It seems like a solid one to strip away. Here. Yeah, I'm going to play Reveal. Nice guy. And he says, I'll attack you for four. Four collected companies. Wow. Did you notice that he did not pile shuffle? He did not. He just kind of shuffled up. Here's another thought knots here. Let's take one. Oh, what, what else you got? I'll take one of them. Let's get rid of that. Still can't cast Collective Company, so here's six. Ew. Going to five. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Eight. That's correct. It is eight. Cavern of Souls. Four fours. Naming dinosaurs. Good old dinos. Collected company. Let's, Let's get some blockers. Let's see who gets to come out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Look at the top six. Pick a couple of them, put them all out. Here's Yuzuri and... Another lord. Is that the Elvish champion? Mm-hmm. There we go. It's like two blockers to me. I mean, we don't want them to be blockers, though. We don't. 
you know, legendary Yuzuri 2 2. Okay. And he and says, you know what? Here's my dismember. I just so happen to have some. I life just here. so happen to want to go to game two. Yep, let's go. Dismember off the top. All right. So, uh, yeah, that was. That was cool. That was Eldrazi. We, uh. <laughs> dismember off the top. Called it. <laughs> You know, colorless Eldrazi still a thing. It is. It exists. Even without the Eye of Ugin, it's still uh, still a pretty good card. Pretty good deck. So let's go to sideboards. Let's take a look and see what, what both of our players are packing. Which one would you like? Oh, oh, he's playing green and white. You know what? You go with Calvin. Okay. On Calvin's side, he's decided to uh, go ahead and bring in three of the best card in Magic. <laughs> Path the Exile, that's all he needs. Uh, one Spell Sky, two Ghost Quarter, and two Stony Silence. Mm -hmm. uh, Path the Exile. I'm not sure at this point how he's casting it, but it's in his sideboard, so I want to see it. Yeah. Let's bring in all three. Uh huh. Um, also an incomplete sideboard. Yes, incomplete like, sideboard. To note here. Uh, definitely something that he could be maybe new to the deck. Still trying to piece together the sideboard. Maybe doesn't have all the cards. For right, it. exactly. I mean, there's a couple couple different reasons why you'd see an incomplete sideboard. Mine was incomplete, but that was because I miscounted. Ugh, that happens. Yep. I think um, you have 14, right? Yep, 14 mm. instead of 15. But yeah, uh, I like the paths here. And honestly, maybe the ghost quarters for the temples. Okay, so he runs temple gardens and racer birds thickets okay. in there for his white sources. There you go. And on Dwayne's side. We've got three Spatial Contortion, two Endbringers, four Relics, two Pithy Needle, two Ley Lines, and two All is Dust. I like All is Dust, and I like the Spatial Contortions. I uh, don't remember what Endbringer does off the top of my head now. Well, don't worry. This handy card bond's going to help us out. Colorless and five mana, a five five, untap. During each other player's untapped step, tap, deal one damage to target creature or player. Colorless mana and tap, target creature can't attack or block this turn. Two colorless mana and a tap, draw card. I mean, I don't really mind Endbringer. Um, six mana, though, so that's pretty high end. Um, I think for sure all is dust and spatial contortions. Those okay. five. I think if it goes to game three, then maybe you can consider bringing in the Endbringers here. Um, because the ability to untap it during your opponent's turn and have that chance to be able to, to block mm -hmm. is pretty nice. Um, so, yeah, I think, I think go with those basically removal stuff first and then go from there. See, see how his opponent plays out game two. So we're shuffling up. And you know what, one thing to note, mm -hmm. um, I know that Lyle and I let... We let Patrick Sullivan down <laughs> because we pile shuffled. There was there was a there moment in the Invitational yesterday where he's where, talked about it. No, what happened was is they uh, Liam and Jadine they just they shuffle up and they present and they say let's go and then Patrick and uh, Cedric make such a big deal about uh, it. And Cedric's like, hey, no they didn't pile shuffle. shuffle. He goes. I have no nothing but respect for the two of them. <laughs> he just hates pile he shuffling. Does. Um, and I've heard I've heard a lot of uh, a last lot of hate weeks, against pile shuffling. The last couple weeks in particular, people have, have been like, "It doesn't help. Don't do it. This, that, and the other thing." So, what do you? How do you feel about pile shuffling? I'm of the mindset that if you think it helps, then do it. Oh, so it's like a, it's like a security blanket. Yeah, like uh, uh, like a placebo. All right, yeah. I'm taking this this sugar pill to make me think that I'm taking medicine to make me feel better. Sure. No, I'm I'm pile shuffling my deck to feel like it's doing something. Mm -hmm. Makes me feel more comfortable about my deck. Okay. That's kind of the mind. But I'm superstitious when it comes to my deck. So maybe that has a factor into why I'm okay with pile shuffling. Did you say kind of superstitious? Okay, I'm I'm a lot of superstitious about. Certain things and he not can't magic. not have foil cards. Only in infect. Okay, <laughs> that's the only. Now that I've gotten everything except the lands foil, I, if I'm have, like if I switch out a sideboard card and, and I don't have the other foil, I don't think the deck performs as well 
because I think it's got bad juju and it's mad at me for, for messing it up. So here is a forest, and I believe that's the Metal Sentinel for Calvin. Mutable for Dwayne? Yep. Man, I'm getting really good at this, guys. You guys should do a video proving which is better. Well, that would be fun. Yeah. I like that idea. Here's a... F I can't see it right now. It looks like a cavern. No. Ghost Quarters. So he did bring in Ghost Quarters. Hmm. All right. Kind of ready to battle any of the non-basic lands that Dwayne's going to bring in. Getting in there for one. Mm -hmm. Oh, two. I'm sorry. Two. <clears throat> Here is... Oh, the... Uh, Heritage. Heritage Druid. And that was... That was the guy. That was the all-star of the elves deck yesterday. And a path in hand. All right, so he's got a couple sideboard cards. Mm-hmm. Uh, Dismember coming down to get rid of the Heritage Druid. Smart, because, I mean, that's that's part of the combo-ness of the elves that you need to disrupt. Yep, here's a matter shaper off of an old Drazi temple. All right, so... Ooh. So he's a 1 1 elf, tap 3, untap elves you control, and add 3 to your mana pool. Um, this guy turns on the overrun effect that Usuri brings to the table. Yes, and of course, Nettle Sentinel um, becomes tapped. You can be able to untap him. I'm dropping food on the floor. When you play another elf, it's another elf, right? It's just another creature. I think it's an elf. Um, Could be wrong. And you can play Elvish Visionary and just Battlefield draw a card. Yeah. Well, you know, different ways to get some combos going, generate a bunch of mana, draw a bunch of cards, things like that. Mm hmm. Joe Scorer says, go ahead and get rid of that Eldrazi Temple. That was definitely on Calvin's radar mm -hmm. after the first game. Being able to cheat out. Thought Creatures, not Thought Not Seers, you know, definitely something you wanted to get rid of. But Dwayne ready with a, with a waste mana. Mm hmm. Those things. It's not two colorless mana, but it is one. Shuffling up. And got to pass the turn back. Let's draw. Cavern of Souls. Naming dinosaurs. Definitely naming dinosaur. That seems fine. Good old, old fogey. Not surprised. Here's a matter of shape or attack. Three coming across. Dropping Calvin down to 17. Yep. And here's another matter of shape or they always work better when there's two of them. Another forest. And here's an elvish arch druid. Plus one, plus one to all other elves. Mm hmm. And. I think you taps for mana equals yeah. the number of elves you have. Yep, 2-2, two, two, two green for a colorless tap. Add green to your mana pool for each elf you control. Alright, our board comes down, and we're going to see a Thought Not Seer sure. hit the field. It's an honest path. Oh, mm, okay. Crater Hoof. So Crater Hoof is what he ramps into. You don't say. <laughs> you don't say. Crater Hoof Behemoth. Three green and five colorless. Five five with haste. When it enters a battlefield, creatures you control get trample and plus X plus X until end of turn, where X is the number of creatures you control. Mm hmm. What a guy. What a guy. But Dwayne, gonna exile the path. Makes sense. That's yeah. a scary one here. Alright. Six is gonna come across. Uh, 
and he'll take the six. Go to eleven. Not not interested in losing his elves at this point. Mm -hmm. Now I mean you're just now starting to get like a foothold going for your creature base, so yeah. Unfortunately, Dwayne has him in a position where land war elves. He's got to start. I I guess blocking at this point. Mm -hmm. You know he can't. Dwayne holding back. But I think we'll definitely see an alpha strike here to kind of force Calvin to make a move. Yeah. Hmm. We got three elves, so that's three mana. Four, five, six, seven, seven mana. So he's one short for a crater hook, but. Alright, Calvin's at that debate now. Do I start trading off against Reality Smashers here? Oh, you mean the Reshaper? No, oh, Matter, matter Reshaper, sorry. Uh, because they are three twos, so he does have that potential. Okay, so double blocking with Thought Not Steer. So that way, three will come across yep. and strips away two creatures, and it allows Dwayne to draw a card. Or, I mean, it allows Calvin to draw a card off of Thought Not Seer Dying, and Dwayne to potentially draw a card or get a creature out of it. Chalice! Oh, hey. Let's uh, go ahead and play that, I guess. That seems fine. Calvin gonna take some damage. Don't forget to untap your forest, Calvin. Oh. And this one for five. Alright, no, he drew off of Oh, he the drew off of thought the thought not here. That's right. Alright. Um, late to the party, I assume. Yep. Elf champion. Okay. And Lionel Robs. That's exact seas right now. Chalice is annoying. But, you know, you're not that worried about it at this point. Like, you're more worried about the creatures. Yep, yeah, Munivolt gets activated, and here is a swing for ten. Five. Yep, ten. So who's jumping in the way? Somebody's got to die to that endless one. I feel like if you're Calvin, do you do you have enough damage? Does the Elvish champion how much damage does the Elvish champion do? Two two and the other okay. So the Land Wars is two two. He'll take two off the Muta Ball. Yep. He would have taken two. Was, that, was my math wrong? No, Muta Ball's a two two. Yeah, he should have been. He should be at six then, not five. Reshaper doesn't have trample, right? It does not. And I'm going to play the correct amount of life he should be at. Right, so, collect a company. Give me some blockers. Uh, oh, no. Nissa. Oh, no. There was more collected companies in that pile. There was. Chow's for one, it looks like. Gets a land for the Nissa. Caster, or when she enters the battlefield, huh. passes the turn back. And this is here to die. He does present a blocker, so maybe he'll draw the collector company. It's a lot of mana. Here's a thought out uh, here. Strip out your crater hoof. 
don't like thought knots here. <laughs> Sad guy. And activate Muniball. Move to combat. Seven. Block here. Again, this math is off by one, but it, I don't think it's going to play that much of a factor. So go to four. Or three. Another collected here. What do we got now? Looks like not what he needs. Nettle. No, Heritage Druid and Llanowar. Hmm. And he says, Ghost Quarter, that Muta Vault. I'll let you go get a Waste Mana. Yeah. Which I think is a is a good play on Calvin's side. It protects him. He's got blockers. Yeah. And he, hopefully maybe draw into something. Yeah. Another play to <laughs> Exactly. Well, it's possible. Nice one ones. <laughs> Stemming the tide, hoping upon hope that he can pull something. Maybe Dwayne will forget to attack. Why was Kelvin shuffling his library? <laughs> am, I, am I crazy? It goes on the bottom, right? It goes. You look at top six, choose two from among them, put, put the, the rest of the them bottom. in any order. Nowhere does it say shuffle your library. <laughs> Hands get extended. Dwayne's going to take this series 2 0. 2 0. Eldrazi, the tribal deck versus tribal deck. Old school Eldrazi takes it. The tribal menace. The tribal menace. I like that. Let's get that on a t shirt. Ooh, the tribal menace? Yeah. But only because we were able to start. During old drowsy winter when it was super cold. It was super cold. So yeah. you should you're saying we need to get it on a sweatshirt then. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All day when yeah. I wear that sweatshirt. I would have the hat on yeah, and, and the sweatshirt. <laughs> I would have it all. Nice. So two rounds in the book. Tastronomus makes a good point. It's a critical mass deck. Yeah. Build up for all these elves. Hmm? Couldn't get that critical mass going. Not Where? against Aldrazi, surprisingly enough. It's got disruption, like, on turn three, we're seeing, like, a 2-2 two -two elf that buffs up the other elves, mm -hmm. while we're seeing, like, a matter reshaper, which is a 3-2 that benefits you by either drawing a card or getting something on the battlefield. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the Eldrazi deck seems to have bigger, yeah. or, bigger or potentially, even on turn three, a Thought Not Seer. Like, we saw that. So it's there's there's definitely more in the Eldrazi's arsenal um, than the elf player. Yeah. Um, but still, you know, cool to see the elf uh, decks on camera again. I would say so. I I'm all about this meta game right now in modern. There is so many different decks. The SCG Invitational in New Jersey proved it. Mm -hmm. One of each deck. It's the way it should be. Every everything that you can think of. Minus a couple. There was no infect. I mean, I'm not, I'm not hurt or anything. I mean, I didn't check the results for the open though. Maybe the open's a little different. Did you look at the open? I did not look at the open. Oh. I did not. Yeah. I think Ross Miriam was doing really well with dredge though. Yeah, that sounds about right. So, get that graveyard hate going, guys. Two graph diggers gauge go. All the time. All the time. So let's take a look at the point standings. Mm -hmm. We're going into round number three. I wonder if half the people have three points. I wonder.